Hello everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about another keying method called Inner Outer Key and uh, that's in After Effects native and um, it's a uh, way to use masks while you're keying and use those masks as guides for uh, the keyer to figure out what's going on and what to take. Now this keyer is uh, pretty different from the key the other keyers that we've been using so far in the fact that we don't pick a screen color to clip out. So <clears throat> what it does is it you you create a mask um, inside what you want to um, keep and then you create a mask outside of it also and uh, it's supposed to um, calculate transparency for the color and uh, transition that uh, uh, accordingly to make the uh, um, object that you masked out stand out on its own from the background well um, I just wanted to let you know that this footage ha just happened to not be uh, that great for this uh, method and um, you'll find out that when you use methods different methods of keying not all of them work uh, perfectly with what you're using so that's why there's a bunch of different keyers and that's why I'm showing you um, each type of keyer so what I want to show you right now is what I have created for my masks so I'm going to turn this on and um, this is how the effect is supposed to work you create a mask and the yellow is going to be inside if I looked really close in here it's going to be inside the uh, edge of the line here and or it's inside the edge of the of the object that we want to keep and then we make a second mask around the outside of the uh, what we want to keep to like get to catch the background so it's gonna calculate what's in between these two lines and then it's going to take what's out of the background it's supposed to take it out now I just like I said before it didn't work awesome with this but um, it this is the way that you're supposed to use it and it'll work on other things pro most likely so um, looks like I didn't go fully outside with this one. Oh no that's just a uh, that's just how the masks are affecting each other. So that was outside, never mind. So what I did was first I created the inside mask. And I uh, masked out different parts with uh, four, diff four different masks. Um, this, big, this one first mask is just the large uh, garbage mask that I created before. So I did the inside of the masks and basically rotoed, rotoscoped the... Um, whole entire gun and hand and strap. Then what I did was I duplicate clicked on all those layers of uh, masks and I pressed control D to duplicate them and what I did was just grab the points and pulled them out and change the color of the mask. You can change the color of the masks by clicking on the square down here um, and just changing the color to whatever you, you want it to be. So. I mean, this one is not blue because I just changed it to blues. But whatever you want the mask to be, that's what it. Uh, that's the color that you can set it up. I choose two different contrasting colors, like pink and yellow. Um, when I was working in the professional studios and stuff like that, where I had to, if I had to rotoscope, I would always use bright pink because it's easy to see and doesn't blend in with a lot of different colors. So that it's, I mean, it's not uh, too bad to work with. So let's let's go here and um, I've got my two sets of masks and we can set in our effect here. We go to effect, keying, inner slash outer key and turn that on. Now we're going to let's see we're going to take the masks here so let me open that back up again and bring up my masks. Um, mask 2, 3, 4, and 5, all the yellow ones besides the first one, are going to be my foreground. 2, and then you can additional foreground here. 3, um, what's, what's, there's 4, and then 5. 
see. And then we gotta come down to this background and change this to six, seven, eight, nine. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Now we can see what's going on here is I've got um, some of the masks coming in within inside the other mask. Now you can see that this is creating some artifacting and that it's a glitch within After Effects that um, you can't do this. So if I go to my alpha and look, our alpha is all screwed up and just does whatever it wants to do for no reason. Same here where these two overlap also. So what you want to actually do is create just one giant shape. So if you have um, footage that moves around and you have to animate, it's not the easiest to try to animate one giant shape. So think of that when you're trying to pull the inner and outer keys. It's not the, not the greatest. You can try to use uh, tracking to do that if you know what tracking is and which I'll go over at another point in time but that's how that works so we've got the artifact in here but this is how you're supposed to uh, set up your um, different your inner outer key and then you've also got some more options down here in the bottom we've got clean up foreground and clean up background so you can input the mask that you want to uh, clean up and change its r brush radius this one right here or it's pressure you can see that it just kinda like works like the tolerance and stuff like that so I don't really need to clean it up so I'll hit none on that um, we've got our edge thin and if you need to turn off the masks by using this button here we've got our edge thin where we can bring in some of the edges as you can see there and the artifacting gets even worse. Um, the edge feather, we probably know what that is, it just feathers out the edge. And then edge threshold, which will also help eat in at the edges and mess up more of our artifacting, obviously. And then we have blend with original, which I'm not sure why you would want that too much if you're trying to key out something. Invert extraction, just um, cuts it out so uh, that's what the, that's how uh, you use the inner outer key um, sorry about having the artifact in there that's could be distracting just remember that you want to use one big shape instead of using a bunch of shapes to uh, that overlap each other in here and that's just a bug that After Effects has so thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you guys can use inner outer key maybe if you have something like a hammer that is easy to uh, mask out or something easy like an orange I don't know and you need to um, key that out then that'll be more helpful to have this uh, inner outer key used for that and it produces some good results actually so go ahead and try and use it if you uh, have the time so thanks for watching everybody see you guys in the next tutorial thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you really hated it and this artifact it really bugged the shit out of you I know it did to me it was pissing me off I couldn't uh, figure out why it was doing that it even does it in the render so subscribe if you would like to uh, see more videos good luck in your uh, projects everyone have a good day